Hello, welcome to Hitchman Homestead. Uh, today we are going to set the wagon up so that we can transport it to either move it onto a trailer or to the back 40 or change locations. So the first thing we want to do is make sure everything is stowed and secure. And the wagon weighs about 600 pounds. So anything that you don't need in there, if you move it out, it's easier to move. It's lighter to move. Um, we're going to raise these wheels that are on the ground now so that they have about an inch and a half of clearance uh, or up to three. Uh, if you're doing real rocky terrain, you're going to want to just pull the two nuts and pull the actual wheel itself. Um, these are not made to take the pressure and support of the wagon. So in order to raise these guys, we're going to pull off part of this keg system here and just remove this shelf on each side. Set those to the side. That allows the wheel to come up and have clearance. And then what we like to do for short moves is just secure our our uh, bonnet bars so that they don't rattle around. I'm going to go remove the shelf on the other side so that I can raise this wheel. And I'm just going to set that right there for now. So we'll step inside. I've got all the tools that we need. I like to stow under the sink. Uh, this is a, a temporary move support. If you're just going to move mow the lawn and you're on a very flat surface like a concrete patio, you could put this in, pick the wagon, and move it 10 feet. I would recommend just doing the extra steps of bolting this door up like I'm going to show you how to do. The only tools that you need are a 3 quarter or 19 millimeter socket and ratchet included with this package and an open end box wrench helps. I have one and this adapter is included with this package as well. Uh, and I just use my cordless just to make it go a little bit faster and easier on me. So. I'm going to raise these wheels here. There's two bolts underneath the, the sink. And again, depending on your terrain, depends on how high you're going to raise them. You don't want the wheels to hit the ground. And since we're pretty flat, I'm going to go about two inches up. Step in back, open the boot box. Got a little latch here. And do the same thing. The bolts are right here. Uh, they're a little bit lengthy to reach. And so changing out CO2 or loading stuff, we have it set up where you can just unhook your rope supports. And we just throw a block in underneath so we don't mar up the edge of it. But the wagon is made to get beat up and patinaed out. I'm just going to come right on here and I'll peek around the corner until the wheels are up where I like them. And then we got one right behind our CO2 canister, which is an upgrade for a wonderful client that this wagon is going to. So it's ready for when we get to our new location. If we did want to pull these wheels, now that it's raised up, these can be tightened down as much as you want. Uh, we like to keep them where they're either on the ground or tight enough not to move so a kid doesn't accidentally get his hand caught in any moving parts. But the wheels just come off. If you're trailering or again, we sent one to Colorado and they had big boulders. Pull the wheels. If they hit something on the ground, 
they will bend the half inch axle or worse yet mar the wheel pretty good and it's such a simple easy task to do if you're not sure just pull the, the wheels all right so now i'm going to step inside and we have this all nicely aligned here from the the first time when we set her up Okay, so we're going to put our travel bar in, and what this does is just keep us as close to the honest position. Oh, I'm sorry, we're going to do this in a minute. Um, but it keeps us as close to the original position so we don't have to tune it quite so much. So we're up on our level. What we're going to do now, i put this back in too soon, is we're going to grab our ratchet, and there's two nuts on each side here and we're going to loosen that assembly we're not going to remove these nuts entirely as so long as we have good free play there same thing on this side Now our door should be free to come up. There's four bolts here. They're gonna attach the bottom of the frame with our nuts and washers. We might have to give it a little wiggle just to get them to align. And we'll just put those on. And we'll put a nut and washer on each bolt head. So there's eight total. <clears throat> and we're gonna wanna tighten these down snug. Everything is meant to be good and tight snug, but not over tightened. Because we're just going to take it apart at the new location and set it back up the way it's set up now. Then we're going to come back and just snug them up. thing we want to do is the ones that we the vertical ones that support the leg supports that we originally loosened we're going to tighten those to keep the door frame
Now I can put my door back in. These are additional foot pad supports. Uh, there's more in the boot box. These are just smaller so that they could, if you're going on a concrete patio, you can direct set these on a concrete or tile patio, but it might mar the surface. Okay, so we've got everything in place and stowed. So we're gonna step outside of the wagon. so it's out of our way. Now we're going to take this spreader bar and we're going to just slide her in here and we're going to loosen this nut to apply pressure. Everything on the wagon is screwed and glued. These blocks are meant to take some support so ideally these legs are up tight to that. That keeps the wagon from wanting to flex in the middle. If we're trailering to keep from opposite flex, we just screw these guys on here. All right, so now from the outside, we're gonna put our drill to reverse. Again, you could do it by hand. And again, just for ease, we have a universal joint that's included with this package. <clears throat> and it just makes it that much faster and easier for us. Now we're gonna bring up these supports one at a time. Again, depending on your terrain is how high you want to lift this, just so it doesn't drag on you. I think that's good. And this stows in our sink box for when we get to our new location. Um, the wagon has a two inch ball. And it is set up to move with a, a Kubota or a tractor. Um, but we recommend, our rule of thumb is don't tow it any faster than a chicken can walk. That way everything doesn't bounce around and parts don't break. If you are not on a completely flat surface, you may want to put wheel shocks under your pneumatic tires. looking away okay so we are ready to move I'll throw these in the drawer <clears throat> set that right there for now okay so the dolly is included with the package um, there is a trailering option if you were going to continuously move this by tractor we can install a, a trailer jack to raise or, or lower this uh, the important safety thing with the dolly is you always keep pressure on the handle I like to use my foot get up under it now you always want pressure on here or else it will come down and smack you in the head so I keep my hand here, engage my tongue, and we are ready to go. We can move it wherever we want. This one's going to load on a trailer and go to California. Then when I get to where my new location is, if I just wanted to mow where it was, firm pressure here, foot on the bottom, disengage. Just check to make sure I'm not sitting on a big boulder or anything. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.